A former Tusculum University football player came to MTSU after he found out something that would change his life forever. You know, he's a quiet guy, but he led by example um, in just his work ethic and everything that he did in the weight room, on the practice field, on the game field. Uh, he was always a guy that uh, coaches could count on to, to be able to get the job done. At age 18, Luke Hillis was living out a lifelong dream of becoming a college football player until... I walked, couldn't sleep all night about 3 o'clock in the morning. I told my mom, I was like, Mom, we got to go to the ER. You got to drive me there. Like, I'm not... Something is like wrong with me. I'm not, I'm not like sick, like I'm, something's wrong with me. Every student that you pass walking to class has a different story. But for some students like Luke, they're carrying things that you can't see on their backs. Then they did one more uh, CT scan just to make sure and that's when they found that I had stage 2C testicular cancer and had spread to my lymph nodes in my back and um, was about to spread to my lungs at that point. His former football coach supported him throughout the process. You know, my, my big deal to him was to, you know, to stay steady in his fight and, you know, to, to continue to work and pray that, that uh, you know, things were going to get better. Hillis made a full recovery and is planning on becoming a teacher and football coach after he graduates from MTSU, but still reminisces about the good old days on the field. You form a bond that is really hard to replicate outside of high school football, in my opinion. That, that's probably what I enjoy the most about it. I'd love to have him come back here and coach. Uh, you know, if the situation was right and uh, he had his degree and we could get him back in the building, I think he'd be a good teacher and I think he'd be a good football coach. Reporting for Middle Tennessee News, I'm Megan Cole. Hillis wants to continue his coaching career and says that it all started back during his days at Siegel High School.